Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, wherever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Idi, and yes, sadly today, again in my garden, sorry guys, I am just really busy at the moment, and I do have my Muay Thai class like in one and a half hours, so I need to do a quick record video in my garden again, but that doesn't mean that the information is not massive. I have four amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice, and massive, massive, massive news from Japan. So let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin. And yes, we had a dip, but we went up again. Let's see what else is gonna happen. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart on Bybit. We can see this four hour chart. Again, we had a huge dip in Bitcoin. Of course, for all the people that are working with a 15 minute chart, for example, and then the market looked really strange yesterday. It was like, oh, Bitcoin is gonna dump, it's gonna dump, it's gonna dump. You can see those red candles going up. And then again, oh no, no, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. So yes, that's beautiful if you're day trading, but if you're not day trading, don't look at these charts. You will be going through an emotional roller coaster that you don't want to be going through. Please look, for example, at the four hour chart. It will give you way more relaxed feeling and even then uh, you could still be a little bit influenced but less than in the 15 minute chart and if you zoom out more you will be influenced even less guys but look on this four hour chart we can see this candle over there again huge wick to the bottom small body you know all what it will mean i told you yesterday already when we saw this candle in the video i told you yesterday's video this means we are going to go up we went up it was not a lot but we went up from about 51k to a level of 52,300. That's 1300 dollars profits. Now again, I'm telling you, do you see this wick? This wick is even larger than that wick. The market is buying all the Bitcoins up that are being sold. That is gonna propel Bitcoin again to a higher level than we've seen the last couple of weeks. Simple as that. I prefer that you zoom out way more than this and for example, look at this chart. The A level, these are the years in which panics have occurred and will occur again. So that's 1927, 45, 65, 81, 1999, 2019, 35, and 53. The level B is the good year the times of high prices, the time to sell stocks and value of all kinds. The level C, this is the level of hard times, the low prices, and a good time to buy all the stocks. This is when the blood is on the street, of course, you need to buy. As you can see, 2023, was a C level that was a perfect moment in the cycle to buy stocks and for example Bitcoin. Now if you look into this chart 2026 will be a B level. That will be a very high price of for example Bitcoin. I believe December 2025 will be the end and then 26 will be the bear market but 2026 is on this chart a year that you should take all your profits to be buying back again in 2032 as you see on this chart. And in 2035, we will probably have a massive run, but also some kind of panic that will lead into a massive dump again into 2039, where there's the next buying opportunity. Beautiful chart. Of course, nobody has a glass bowl, but I really like this chart. Pause the video and analyze it for yourself if you want to understand it a little bit better. Then we have the stock to flow model, uh, the Bitcoin market cycles, guys. Uh, the blue dots means accumulation. The red dots mean bull market. The yellow dots mean distribution and the green dots are here the bear market. And yes, green, I don't know why green, because green is not like that positive. I would have turned them around. I would have made the red dots green because it should be bullish and the um, green dots red because that's more bearish, but stock to flow model chose to do it the other way. Now we can see that we have still blue dots and we can see we are now reaching that top line of the stock to flow model. Now, if you look back to the past, every time when those blue dots reach that line, we can see we are going up in price. And we will be going up in price, and that's when the dots will turn, turn red. And then mostly, every dot is a month, to be very clear. All the stock-to-flow models are built on a monthly base. Mostly, we can see about eight, nine, sometimes 12 red dots. And those red dots will take all the way up into 2025 to create a new bull market top. Could be from May, I still believe it will be the end of 2025, but let's see. The demand at the moment is insane. There's a lot of demand coming into the market, as you will hear later in my video when I talk about the news. Two huge news items that will drive way more 
uh, demand to this market than we already thought. So it's very interesting to see that this model has been right all the time. If it is right again, we will reach a level above 100K very soon. Then this chart, just to repeat it again, guys, the level that we just broke in the yellow circle is a very important level. It's a level of 0.618 in the Fibonacci sequence, guys. Normally, we don't break that level this early in the cycle. Normally, that happens after the halving. We are breaking that level now already. The more candles we close above this level, the more bullish I will even get. Because if you look to the left on the chart, whenever we broke that level of 0.18 Fibonacci, that has never gone back down below that level ever again. 2016, we broke that level. Do you see that we ever came down below that level? Never. 2020, we broke that level. Do you see a moment that we ever came down below the level? Never. 2024, we are breaking this level at 52K. This could mean we will never go down below 52K ever again. Very interesting charts, guys. I hope you really enjoyed all of these charts, especially the beautiful brownish chart that is showing you which years would be beautiful to buy and sell and which years will be huge events happening. We can still enjoy this beautiful bull run. As you saw, Plan B's chart now coming up to the red dots. And whenever those red dots appear on this Plan B stock to flow model, we know what is going to happen up, up, up. Beautiful chart. So let's quickly jump now into the trading dip. I'm running out of trading tips, guys, but I want to remind you that I was an investor in paid network already from the start. I was their advisor, and that paid token is now around 36 cents. The top of the previous bull market was around $6. Paid token has a huge potential to go upwards because the new tokenomics of Ignition version 2 are built in such a way that it will create a lot of buying pressure for the paid token. Please take 20 minutes today to dive into a video to research the new tokenomics of Ignition 2 to understand what that will do to the pay token. There will be a massive demand for that pay token. Understand this. We are soon going to go into that massive part of the bull market where also the altcoins market is going to increase massively. We're just in the beginning of the altcoin market cap, around 600 million. At the top, we were at 1.2 trillion last bull market. I think we could go higher now. So a lot of these new projects and alts will be launched on Ignition. And by that, automatically, a lot of pay tokens is being bought, burned and bought. I promise to you, if you check those tokenomics, you will understand why you should buy a pay token now at this moment. This will make a shitload of profits for you. So that was the trading tip for the day. Another cool project. Paid network, let's quickly jump into the next part. The travel tip for today is while you're traveling, use debit cards. All these crypto debit cards give you a cashback. Your normal bank card is not giving you cashback, is not giving you interest, is not giving you anything. Start to use these crypto debit cards. For example, uh, the Bybit debit card doesn't give you a cashback, but when you stake the amount that you're using for your Bybit card, so if you have them in the funding account, you can get up to a 14% APR per year. That's 14% in interest earning just by using this card. Wirex, for example, gives you up to 8%, depending on what kind of stores that you visit. Crypto.com gives you up to 4% cashback, which means if you use these cards, to buy something, Crypto.com or Wirex, for example, you get 4% to 8% cashback in tokens, but that's still cashback. You're earning money while you're spending it. Bybit makes you earn money while you save it. And then when you use the card, your savings will go a little bit lower, but when you top it up, it will go up again, and you will keep earning that 14% on USDT, for example, on Bybit. Use all of these cards. Also, for the Dutch customers out there, you can still apply for this Bybit card till the 5th of March. Then they will stop providing it to the Dutch customers, to the new Dutch customers, from the 5th of March for a certain amount of time. They will start activating it again later when all the licenses are okay, 
But when you apply now, before the 5th of March, you will receive your card and you will be able to use it even after that 5th of March, guys. So still sign up now to that Bybit card. The link is down below. Crypto.com, the link is down below. Wirex, the link is also down below. These three cards I've been using now for years already and they are working perfectly. And yes, I enjoy those cashback to drink some coffee or have a lunch all for free because of the 4% that I get back a year. Just imagine spending 100k a year, getting 4% back, that's 4k, 4k, that's a nice amount to drink some coffees. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part. Today's question from a follower was, Didi, do you think that this is the last explosive bull market because of the spot ETFs and all the institutional investors boarding this market at the moment. Will that make the market less explosive and a little bit less volatile, but a little bit more stable? I do believe that this will be one of the last massive bull markets, guys. Yes, we are still in it with a lot of retail investors and the institutional investors are just streaming in, flowing in, but they are flowing in with huge capital. You can see already $40 billion worth of spot ETS are bought in the first month. And this will increase more if you listen to the loose that I'm going to share later in this video. But this is going to be insane. The buying pressure is going to be insane in this bull market. Because whenever something is new, it will explode harder in the beginning and then will start to go sideways a little bit. And for us, it was already new in 2013. But for all those banks, institutional investors, VC funds, all of those having the access to Bitcoin is completely new. It just started like 30 days ago. So for them, it's still the thrill of let's go all into Bitcoin and pop, 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 Bitcoin is going up. And we can see this already now in the price. We were trying to dip, but that huge red wick on the bottom, that small body is telling us everything is being bought up by the market. So I do believe that this bull market is going to be an insane bull market. It could drive the Bitcoin price to an insane price, but I'm just a little bit more bearish always. I'm like, I'm happy with 120K to 150K. I'm not going to say we're going to go to 500K because 120 to 150K is good for me. And then this will be the first cycle for all these institutional investors and banks. So they will push it up. And of course, they will take their profits. It will come down again. And then those bikes and those banks and institutional investors will go into the second cycle. So I believe that this cycle is going to be a massive one. And I also believe that the next one is also going to be a huge one. It will push the price of Bitcoin above $1 million per Bitcoin. So between now and 2032, I believe those two cycles are going to be massive. After that, yes, I believe that the cycles will become less volatile. But this cycle, and the next cycle, all the way up to 2032, I really believe that we can still see this Bitcoin price being pushed above $1 million per Bitcoin. So that's a shitload of profit that you can take if you start to dollar cost average into Bitcoin today. That is my answer to the question. These two cycles, still really, really, really bullish. And after that, I think we will go a little bit more sideways and a little bit less volatile. But still, I don't believe that Bitcoin ever will then go below those new bottoms. And this bottom was 16K. I believe that the next bottom of this bull market will be above 30K. And I believe that the bottom after that 30K cycle will probably be above 80K. So that's a beautiful bottom. So after these two cycles, the bear market bottom could be around 80K. And then of course, the rest of the cycles could be a little bit less volatile and less profitable, but still, if you buy Bitcoin now, while knowing that the 80K, for example, could be that new bottom in the far future, you need to be able to understand that it's a good investment. So that's my opinion, no financial advisor, just a guy in his garden talking about Bitcoin blockchain life. But that's my opinion about your question. The massive news for the day is that the buying pressure on Bitcoin is increasing tremendously. And why? Because now also Japan is joining the game. Japan just announced that they will allow all their VC funds to hold Bitcoins for their client. So now all the VC funds in Japan will be able to invest in Bitcoin for their clients. That's a huge step. There's a lot of capital in Japan in those VC funds that will now start to accumulate Bitcoin as well. And then the second massive news is that now the banks in the United States also are starting to mingle. They are telling now Gary Gensler of the SEC, hey, 
Why are we not allowed to be custodial services for the clients? Why can't we offer Bitcoin like a spot ETF to the clients? We as the banks demand that we also will be able to offer these spot ETF services to our clients. And Gary Gensler is like, oh, fuck the banks, they control this whole United States. What do I do? The only thing he can do is agree with them and give them also the possibility to run a spot ETF for the clients or be a custodial service for the clients. So even those huge banks in the United States now have FOMO. Japan VC funds have FOMO. The complete world of investing is experiencing the FOMO that we already had like in 2014 and 2017. That is what they are going through now because they can see how many millions worth of Bitcoin are being added every day to the spot ETFs. 400 million, 600 million, 500 million, 300 million. These are insane amounts. The Bitcoin spot ETF will soon surpass the gold spot ETF. And that is, of course, what all these financial advisors see then the banks. They really understand that, oh shit, the world really wants the digital gold of the 21st century Bitcoin. So when all these laws are being created by all these countries to give their VC funds, investment funds, banks, access to spot ETFs or custodial services for Bitcoin, it will even increase the demand for Bitcoin more than there already is. And we don't even have enough supply at this moment to fulfill the demand that the spot ETFs are creating. They are buying between 5,000 and 10,000 Bitcoins a day. There is only 900 Bitcoins created per day. Soon only 450 Bitcoins will be created per day and the demand will be growing. This will lead to massive supply shocks, guys. It is a massive supply shock. And that supply shock will make sure that the Bitcoin price will propel to insane heights. Please understand all these news items. It's going to drive the Bitcoin price up because the demand will grow worldwide explosively while the supply is decreasing from April around 28th. That was the news for today. Let's quickly jump into the next part. The next part, guys, is, of course, the inspirational part and the end of the video. Uh, the inspirational part for today is a quote, a very simple one. Asking for help is not a weakness, it is a strength. It's never bad to ask for help because asking for help makes you smarter. When you keep talking, you're only repeating what you already know. Every time again and again, you will repeat what you already know. The moment you understand that asking for help is a strength, you will learn new things. I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. When I'm listening into a conversation, I'm not afraid to ask something. Even when I'm in a huge auditorium where I'm looking at a presentation, if I want to ask something, I will ask it because that is how I learn new things. And I want to learn new things. I want to evolve. So asking for help should be considered as a strength instead of a weakness. Too many people in the world still see it as a weakness. Ah, I'm not going to ask it. It's a stupid question. They might think I'm stupid or weak. Nah, let's not ask it because they think I would not know anything about that subject. Asking for help is a strength. Just ask him. Well, what do you mean? Oh, please educate me. It's not bad. I want to be educated. Tell me more, more, more. Suck all that information up as a sponge. I like SpongeBob, like a real sponge. <laughs> stupid joke. <laughs> like a sponge and you will evolve to being a smarter person. And when you become a smarter person about certain subjects, you can even monetize them in the end. It didn't start with me with all this knowledge came into my brain from heaven. Oh, you, you know everything about Bitcoin. Bam, there it is. It started by asking for help, asking all those Bitcoiners. Hey, what is this about? Hey, what does it work? How does the blockchain work? Asking for help made me evolve to a person that knows a shitload of Bitcoin and a shitload about investing. And the moment you start to ask for questions about this whole economical system to people that know a little bit about it, you will realize that you're caught in a system that is making you poorer every day again and again. Because you start to ask for help, you will understand the economics of this world that will drive to inflation, that will make you poor and the 1% very rich. And if you want to be able to ask my help every day, you should join the Bitcoin Family VIP members. If you become a VIP member, you get into my exclusive VIP Telegram group. I will be there every day answering all the questions 
You will get access to the signals group where we tell you when we buy and sell bitcoins and you will also get access to a course section with over 40 modules at the moment. And this course, for example, also is how you get the Palau ID and with that Palau ID, how you open an exchange or how you even open a Bible exchange with that Palau ID. Everything with videos and text explained in the course modules. From how to buy Bitcoin to how to trade Bitcoin to life lessons, everything else packed in a beautiful course system that you can even download an app for and use it in the app while you're on the train. So becoming a VIP member still is around $600 per year. It's going to be doubling up very soon. I'm just going to say that because the course section is now ready. The promotion was there last year because, you know, not everything was ready yet, but now slowly everything is coming to an end. So the price will go to $1,200 very soon. If you want to sign up to the VIP section today, go down below, click the link. There will be a link to the BitcoinFamily.com VIP member. When you become a member over there, you can pay monthly or you can pay in one yearly fee. And then you directly get access to the Telegram groups, to the VIP signals, and of course also to the course section. Yes, very cheap education and very cheap access to me. <laughs> I don't know everything guys, but I will do my best to help you as much as possible. And all the VIPs will be giving their opinion as well. And of course, also their tips and everything so that we together as the VIP group of the Bitcoin family grow to a beautiful family that yes, helps each other in this beautiful world of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about everything else and uh, wish you an amazing day. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Ben.